Hello and welcome to Penguins To Go, your daily dose of Pittsburgh Penguins news and analysis. Find us on YouTube at InsideThePenguins.com or anywhere you get your podcasts. I'm your host, Nick Berlansky, and the Penguins are riding high following a 4-1 to victory over the little brother Columbus Blue Jackets on home ice on Tuesday, making it three straight victories for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And if you look at those three wins... Yes, you have the Kasperi captain hat trick on Saturday, but a lot of the a lot of the points and a lot of the goals are being scored by the top six, which is not necessarily an issue. You're going to have times where that happens every single season, and especially with a team that's constructed the way the Pittsburgh Penguins are, with a lot of money being forwarded to the top six and not as much attention being paid to the bottom six. But there is one player that is getting paid to make a difference that I really think needs to start stepping up or he has to take a step back. And that's Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter, the 37 year old center for the Pittsburgh Penguins that don't get me wrong before I get into this. He's not useless. Like he has a purpose on this team, but he hasn't had a phenomenal season. We're not expecting him to be top six in the Penguins in goal scoring. And he's not, he's number seven right now. But he only has 13 points so far on the season. Three of them being goals. Which, again, you look at where he's at on the counting stats list for the Pittsburgh Penguins. You want him in the top of that third tier. Your top tier is going to be your Crosby, your Malkin, your Jake Gensel. And that's exactly what it is right now. Your second tier should be the rest of that top six. Jason Zucker, Ricard Raquel, Brian Rust. And then you want Jeff Carter to be there. And he is, but just the way he's getting there, not hitting home. He's only scored one goal over the past four weeks, and that was an empty netter that he took off the stick of Sidney Crosby. He's not in a good spot right now when it comes to his performance. Now, the players around him have had flashes. Brock McGinn has had a really good last couple of weeks. Kasperi Captain, I mentioned at the top of the show, had that hat trick on Saturday. But a lot of that is not due to the play of Jeff Carter. His underlying numbers are not good. 46% of the shot attempts went on the ice at 5-on-5. 48% of the expected goal share. 45% of the scoring chances. 42% of the high danger scoring chances. These are very low metrics in general even more so on this Penguins team. Now, you might ask, okay, well, Jeff Carter is not really here to be a defensive forward. What are you talking about? How long has the Penguins' third-line center role been basically defined as you need to be a little bit more defensive-leaning, and if you can tack on the offense, that's a big addition. Jordan Stahl, Nick Benino, those guys exemplify that exact trait And the reason being because the Penguins do rely on their top six to go out there and do the brunt of the offensive work. So Jeff Carter has not had a great season at five on five, centering that third line. But he's not going to go anywhere. That's the the thing. You have to figure out what you're going to do with him if he doesn't improve. Because the answer is not going to be put him on waivers for the purpose of contract termination. That's not going to happen. The answer is not going to be trading him because he signed through the end of next season. He has a $3.125 million cap hit. And probably the most important part of this is he has a no movement clause. And for those who don't know, a no movement clause basically means the Penguins can't do anything with Jeff Carter outside of moving him around the lineup without his permission. They can't send him down. They can't trade him. They can't buy him out. Well, they could buy him out, but they're not going to do that until the end of the season because that's when the next buyout period is. So he's not going anywhere. And he hasn't really been the player that the Penguins need him to be this season. He wasn't at the end of last season either. We've seen flashes from time to time, but it's just not enough. And you can go back preemptively and say, well, why did you sign a 37-year-old center for two years to begin with? He's a locker room guy. 
That's that's why he was signed. He's a locker room guy. The market was ridiculous because of the COVID pandemic. And he has shown those flashes for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Not to mention him and Ron Hextall are buddies from their time in LA. But you can't change that at this point. So Jeff Carter either needs to step up and improve his game. And if so, then all things are cleared. But if he doesn't, and he hasn't shown many signs that he will take that step forward, he needs to take a step backward. He needs to step into a role similar to, I don't know, Matt Cullen. Matt Cullen played for the Pittsburgh Penguins in 2016 and 2017 cup runs. He played another season here after going back to Minnesota for a year. But I really think that Jeff Carter, moving into that Matt Cullen role, fourth line center, experienced guy on the bottom six that just goes out there to win faceoffs, eat up ice time, and not give up any goals. That's where you need him to play. Because while Carter's 5-on-5 numbers haven't been great, a demotion in the lineup has proven already this season in multiple instances to be better for both the player and for the team as a whole. Example number one, Brian Dumoulin. I put a piece out on InsideThePenguins.com earlier this week. Since his demotion, Brian Dumoulin has improved markedly in almost every category. He's been a much steadier defenseman as a result of lesser playing time and playing against lesser competition. Another example, Kasperi Kapanen took a step back. He took a step off the ice for three weeks. He has come back four games into that return, playing on a line with Jeff Carter. Kasperi Kapanen has looked markedly better. So maybe it's time for for Jeff Carter to get that treatment. Maybe it's time for Jeff Carter to take a step back, take a little bit less responsibility, a little bit less ice time, take on a little bit lesser of an opponent skill set, and see if he can get his game back. See if he can find a little bit more consistency for the Pittsburgh Penguins. He needs to be a defensively focused forward with a little bit of offensive potential. That's what the Penguins have always needed from their third and fourth line centers. That's what they need from Jeff Carter. He's shown it at times, but it just hasn't been enough. Now, the only problem with this is who fills his spot? Who goes up and plays third line center? Who stands in between Kasperi Kapanen and right now it's Brock McGinn on the left side? He hasn't been much better under with the uh, analytical numbers, but I think you got to give Teddy Bluger a shot. I've been screaming this into the void for at least nine to ten months that Teddy Bluger deserves to have an opportunity to play with more skilled forwards on his wing. You go back through and the most skilled guy Teddy Bluger has had next to him for an extended period of time is probably Brandon Tanev. And while Tanev is a great energy guy, he's not a guy that has that potential goal scoring consistently. Kasperi Kapanen brings that a little bit more. Brock McGinn, the way he's currently playing, brings that a little bit more. So why not give Teddy Bluger that opportunity? Can can Bluger become a Nick Bonino level third line center? Because that's really all you're looking for. I don't think that he can be carbon copy Nick Bonino. Nick Bonino scored, what, 19 goals the one year with the Pittsburgh Penguins? But he scored nine in in the other one. Can Teddy Bluger find that middle ground there? Can he score 16 goals? 17 goals? 30 to 40 points in a season? And continue to be defensively responsible while offensively opportunistic? That's what you're looking for in your third line center. You're not really getting that with Jeff Carter. You might get that if you put Teddy Bluger there. And listen, the Penguins are 26 games into the 2022-23 season. You're in the middle of December. You're in the depths of the regular season. You're about to go into a stretch against a lot of very important Metropolitan Vision matchups at the end of this month. You need to have an effective third-line center. And if Jeff Carter's not going to get the job done, he needs to take a step back. Teddy Luger can go up in there 
and we can see what he can do with an increased roll while trying to get Carter to hit the reset button here about a quarter of the way through the season. Similar to what Brian Dumlin did, similar to what Kasperi Kapanen did, and similar to what they're trying to do right now with Danton Heinen. If he doesn't take a step forward, it's time for Jeff Carter to take a step back. That's going to do it for this episode of Penguins to Go. Check out a full episode of the Tip of the Iceberg podcast coming out tomorrow. But you can find this specific show on YouTube at Inside the Penguins or anywhere you get your podcasts from. That's it for this one. Have a great day, Pens fans.